second broadcast of the NBA. And at the three spot, Kobe Bryant now in his 16th season. And what has been one of the great careers in NBA history. He's battling age now, but still a very, very productive player. And Steve, you know, for Kobe Bryant, as you said, battling age. He'll be, uh, he's 33 right now going into this season. Wear and tear a part of the game. He's played so many minutes. Preseason, regular season, all those playoffs, Clark. He said his kneecap is almost bone on bone. He's got our, an arthritic right index finger on his shooting hand. It continues on. The guy's tough. Yeah, the battle scars of a long, successful career. And he takes pride in that, but he also recognizes the reality of it. And most of the time, you don't find out about those health issues. That's, again, a part of his desire to, once he gets between the lines, to focus 100% on the task at hand, um, not wanting to make excuses. And with his talent and his resume, Now Fisher, right side Kobe, outside for our test, out to Kobe, four on the shot clock, from outside off the mark, now looking at the Grizzlies home record last season, 30 up and 11 down, that record has done nothing but improve for the last five seasons, mm -hmm. they're in ascending ball clubs. You lose all momentum in this game. Conley kicks to Gasol. Bynum on it. Gasol, no good. I'll tell you, the defense was right there, just waiting, doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. Now here's Kobe. Fades away. Again, the miss by Kobe. Looks like he scored that one off a little too quickly there guy who is starting to figure out his role in the NBA as a double-double type game in terms of scoring and rebounding as he continues to improve. The free throw drops for Arthur. And Darrell Arthur greatly improved last season at Kansas. Clark a great score there and he's starting now to live up to that in the pro. Yeah, I think he's found a nice rhythm, a good comfort level for himself. I mean, he's more than doubled his scoring while improving his accuracy and really a breakthrough season for him. Outside Gasol. Now here's Barnes. Trains it from beyond the arc. Best rebounding team in the NBA last year in terms of rebounding differential. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, Kevin, a rare early exit from the playoffs by the Los Angeles Lakers spurred some talk that perhaps they might blow up their core and specifically their post players. But general manager Mitch Kupchak said that wasn't the case and stressed the importance of big, saying talented big players are always at a premium. Guys, doesn't look like those players are going anywhere anytime soon. Back to you. Always great to hear from you, Doris. The Lakers went out on a bad note, but I agree with the decision to not blow up the second the quarter. They are on fire. Passes to Mayo. Knocks it down from 19 feet. Mayo's got his first basket. Here are the Lakers. A big stretch here going 10-2. Brown guarded by Mayo. From 18 feet away, our test good. 44 seconds left in the second quarter. Brown against Mayo. Stolen by our test. No one back, two on none. Goes up. Flushes it down to finish the break. Outside, Kobe. Working on Gasol. And here is Bynum. For three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And Clark, you talk about the, the depth of that Memphis team. You think about the bench players that stepped up in the playoffs. Guys like Darrell Arthur, Shane Battier, Grievous Vasquez giving them big minutes at that backup point guard spot. And then, of course, O.J. Mayo, a guy who would start for a lot of teams. But he came off the bench, gave, gave them tough defense and made some big shots. Boy, it had to be difficult for Rudy Gay to sit out the playoffs last year. Had such a good regular season. Uh, and then to not be able to help his club out in the postseason had to be very frustrating for him.
And Steve, you mentioned Rudy Gay missing the playoffs last season. He suffered a partially dislocated shoulder, Clark, right before the All-Star break. And Gay is a guy who never had a chance to play. Here's Conley. Randall passes to Allen. And he finishes nicely on the way. And, you know, Steve, for the Lakers, Lamar Odom said himself their sluggish finishes in the second half were partly born of overconfidence, of ego. I, mean, I, I don't know much credence you put in that, Clark. What do you think? You know what? I think there is a tendency, a human tendency, to become complacent, to become full. And you can lose some of your edge. I don't think it's a lack of humility and respect. I think it's just the nature of being somewhat satisfied. Um, and when you're in this league, um, because people are coming after you a lot harder when you've got what they want in terms of championships, and especially as you age, I think it gets harder sometimes to fight off that resistance and to flip the switch if you find yourself in a little bit of a rut. Gay gets a hand on it. A challenging stretch here for Memphis. Coach is liking Clark what he's seeing from his offense. Too, why wouldn't he? I mean, guys, they're filling it up with heat, executing, getting quality shots. I mean, this is fun to watch. Yeah, this is like a clinic out there, guys. This is exactly how you attack a defense. Move the ball, sharp cuts, a really a nice pace to their offense. Looking at who's out there now for the Grizzlies. Marcus Gasol's checked in for Randall. Just love and when there's no let up on the defensive end and they continue to extend their lead by simply not giving up any points. It's been a clinic out there on the defensive end, guys. Thank you, Doris. They made a statement with that big run clock. They sure did. I mean, actually, this team has what I like to call spurtability. <laughs> <laughs> Clark, that's becoming one of our trademarks right now. Without there. question. We're all over it. One of the great basketball words out there. <laughs> and, Clark, I think the defense was sort of shell-shocked by that spurtability. They were reeling. Points for Kobe Bryant. No, even in transition, a wide open freeze, tough to pass up. Randolph backs in. Outside Gasol. Feeds it to Allen. The dish to Gay. Kobe with the steal. Excellent anticipation. As soon as that pass was in the air, he was on the move and picked it off. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, it's been really sloppy out there. I understand that they're trying to be aggressive, but still, I mean, you can play fast, but still play efficiently, but they're not doing that right now. Gets it to go. 54 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Defended by Allen. Shoots from the high post. And the basket by Cole. Big run right now going for him, 11-2. Barnes, it's off. Now Conley. Here's Arthur, back to Conley. Off target. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, 